what are the things that you would like to see happen this year, but you know for sure it won't happen? What I would really like to see is some movement away from the term best practices. And maybe the term isn't necessarily the issue, but it's the way we talk about it. The industry is very rapidly evolving. Innovation is not an issue here. We're innovating very, very, very fast. It's hard to keep up. But what happens is that I like to say like today's best practices are tomorrow's no, 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 no. And what happens is that, you know, the popular opinions or, you know, the big kids at the table say, you know, this is the way to do it. You could say that's platform engineering. You could say that's a microservices architecture. You could say that's, you know, any number of things that we're doing today. And so we can spend all this time learning what I'll just say are kind of ephemeral with best practices, but in reality, every company has different hurdles and different obstacles, even the exact same use case in a different company. There are different boundaries and there are different solutions that you have to pursue to solve a problem. You know, you can think of something like using self-hosted runners in a public GitHub repo where GitHub themselves may say, no, 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 this is a bad idea. We don't recommend it. But there are use cases where you may need to do that. You will have to take some extra steps to really secure that to make it less vulnerable. But there are some things that would require doing some things that may be unpopular in that sense versus are we just going to write an entire framework to hopefully qualitatively mock some production setup that we're doing or we can just figure out how to secure this and this is actually makes the most sense for our particular use case in our company at this point in time. You look at, for example, Ansible where, you know, there are common practices, but to say, this is the way you should always do it. I love that the project doesn't really go there because the reality is you need to do what works within your organization and what's going to make it happen. So what I think is really a better strategy, in my opinion, is what is our problem solving methodology? How do you approach a problem and how can you zero in on what would be your best practices for your particular use case? Sometimes that could be Kubernetes. Sometimes it's going to be a very simple three tier architecture and that's okay. Despite all the big kids at the table, pitching Kubernetes being the thing you have to do. It's not always what's best. Platform engineering. I've said this before in interviews with you that one thing that seems to get looked past is the amount of scale you kind of have to be at for that to be a useful practice. If you're a smaller company, SMB startup, trying to assemble and invent your own platform engineering wheel is it's over engineering. It's going to get in the way. So I would like to see a little more, I guess, thoughtfulness behind terms like best practices, at least as it relates to things like software engineering and DevOps and cloud computing and so on. I guess for areas like security, you know, I, I guess I would favor best practices there. I think that is a little more straightforward. But in the world that I'm in, we have to get creative about how we piece together and we have to try new things. We have to experiment new things. And this is where innovation comes from. And when people go beyond that boundaries and challenge these status quos of so-called best practices, 
is when some of the coolest stuff emerges and then becomes the next best practice.